Hi everyone! Hello, it is I, Valencia Decade, back at it again with another Get Ready With Me. Woo 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 woo! I'm standing up today. Usually I'm facing this wall right here. I honestly hate doing videos while sitting down because I feel so restricted. Like, I can't move. I can't do this. Excuse me, I'm eating a toaster strudel in the bathroom like a weirdo. So I've been gone for, what, like a month? And, ow. Fail. Honestly, it's not that long, but it feels like long because it's like four videos that I didn't post And I mean posting a video each week is not like a set rule that I have for this channel Because I don't want to disappoint anyone because I know that it's it's a commitment to post every week And I just can't do that the days off YouTube started when the first week I think I just wanted a week off the second week there was like a pride event the, uh, the week after that there was another pride event and the week after that which was last week was my birthday uh, my birthday was on Monday, June 11th, and I took the whole weekend off. Um, and there's nothing more I love than spending all your time with friends and family, and that's just what I did. All those um, days kind of landed on my shooting days, and that's why I don't have any content for the previous couple weeks. Um, I'm going to be reading off your comments and questions that you guys left me in my last Get Ready With Me. So... Here we go. Queen Panda Bear said, you're so funny. Never stop your charisma, unique, disturbing talent. Well, I'll try not to. Andrew B. Garfield said, I'm so happy to have another video with you. Thank you for making me happy, mom. Well, I'm glad to make you happy, son or daughter. Okay, this is Jenna Rudo. Honestly, I think whatever you do with the channel is gonna be great and I would love to see it. Your personality goes beyond any content. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I, that came from me saying that I wanted to take this channel in whatever direction my heart desired rather than forcing myself to do specific content. Natalie239 said, Girl, I'll watch any video you make. Why? Because you're stunning. Uh -huh. So sweet. Georgia Min said, You remind me of Sailor J when you do that lip thing. It's super cute. What lip thing? So I actually looked up Sailor J and after I read your comment, Georgia, and she's everything. Xavier Paraiso said, date me. Sure. Yo Joe Unicorn said, sometime I wish I could do drag, but I cannot do makeup if my life depended on it. Everybody starts somewhere. Everybody starts a mess. Like there's nobody who started out flawless. If the only thing stopping you from doing drag is being scared of makeup, then I highly encourage you to pursue it. Paola Osorio said, you're so much fun to hang out with, sending you love. Thank you, Paola. I hope you enjoyed today's video where you got to hang and nap with me again. PMJR said, bring me to life like Evanescence is my new favorite thing to say now. Love you. Greetings and hugs from Germany. Ah, Alemania. I can say somebody knows me in Germany. Do a video on how to put on, put on a wig and how to make it stay. So honestly, I'm not the person to teach you that because I mess up every wig I wear because I glue it. If you want to learn how to attach your wigs, I suggest looking up videos on YouTube. There's plenty of them. One of them is by Online Kind, and he t teaches you several ways to. Bright65 said, Been missing your parody lip sync for your live videos, but I know they take a lot of work, and I gather you've been very, very busy. Thank you for understanding. I kind of miss the parody videos too, to be honest. Not recording it, because that's a pain in the butt. But fingers crossed that we see one sometime soon. Wink. It fascinates me how you do your makeup. I wish I could have learned many of the tricks you use, especially the flawless smooth skin. I don't have flawless skin. The skin that you have, no matter how much makeup you put on top of it, uh, the texture of your skin is still gonna show. So, um, it's all a matter of lighting, really, with drag makeup. But thanks! <laughs> One thing I've noticed with many of the young queens, aged not length of the time doing drag, is they seem to go with a flat chest more often than with boobs. Is it just a preference, a fad, or does age play into it? I think it's all a matter of preference. It could be because she's trying to serve in like an androgynous look. It could be a matter of comfort, and maybe the girl prefers to just move around freely without you know, the feeling of something being there on her chest. It could be a matter of rebelling against the fact that everybody says you should wear a century, you should wear nails, you should wear heels. It could just be a statement that they don't want to do it. Maybe that is their drag. So it definitely is a matter of preference because there is no right or wrong way to do drag. Either way, whether she wears boobs or not, people will always find something about that queen that they don't like and 
pick at it. It's just better to do what you feel is best for you or what you prefer because people are going to talk about it regardless. I, I hope that answers your question. It, it's definitely a matter of preference. TX, I don't know if that's for Texas, Mommy1 said, I love these. Please keep doing them. So get ready with me. Here you go, my darling. We're making one right now. It's a round of applause for the questions. All right. So we is going to start getting ready now. So while I was gone off of YouTube, I was actually performing more frequently. I kind of took a performance break. The feeling of wanting to perform live has kind of died a little bit for me. And I knew it was a matter of time before that I got the itch again to perform. It always happens that queens say, oh, I'm going to stop performing or I'm quitting drag. And they always come back because once you do drag, you never go back. I'm a weirdo. Boom. Foundation done. I don't know what about my makeup used to take me so long. I think it was just me overthinking every step and trying to make everything perfect. And I'm just like, screw it. Ain't nobody going to stare at my face that closely to try to clock me. And if they do, they're not nice people and they're not worth impressing anyway. Looking for flaws on people like that. Go find Waldo. Go do something productive with your life. You know what I'm saying? Now we is gonna go in with the shadows. My stomach just decided to do all the whale noises it possibly can. I think I hear a little bit of orca. Oh, I hear a little bit of blue whale. My guardian angel guides my hand. He like totally just grabs my wrist and he's like, here, bitch, let's blend this out. So right now we're doing brows, how about it? Eyebrows done, looking nice and pissed off. Time for eyeliner. Where is it? I want wings like Icarus made wings and glued the feathers with wax and then plummeted to his death. Today's makeup session has been a struggle. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Worst drag queen ever. Luckily, we're almost done that show. Oh, you pretty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, we love you. Some red lips, because why? Because she's a woman. So we're gonna go ahead and put on the outfit and the lashes. So I'm gonna run off camera real quick and put everything on and see how it looks and I'll be right back. Bam! The sequel. Here you guys have it, the final look. I told you not to panic. This is totally what I wanted from the beginning. I did not mess up. Let me fix this eyeliner real quick. All right, guys, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, or anything you want to leave me in the comments below, go ahead and do so, so I can read them in my next Get Ready With Me. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.